Welcome back to the Chairquisition. We're taking a trip back to the time when I was going through puberty three weeks ago. Um, Chairquisition, this is where we take your game. We break it down. We break it down into two sections, the facts and the feels. We tell you if it launches, how the forms, the graphics, and the controls. Those get rated on a pass-fail basis. You get one one chair for each, and you know if you get four, that's good. Um, then, we t- then we tell you if we enjoyed it. It's the fun section, and we rate that arbitrarily on a scale from one to four chairs. One chair means that it's garbage, two chairs means it's meh, two chairs means that's pretty good, four chairs means that's awesome. So, uh, this week we're taking a look at Dusk from David Simansky, David Simanser. Uh, done on the Unity engine, you can pick it up for about $20 of your local wet currency. What is it? Battle through an onslaught of mystical backwater cultists, possessed militants, and even dark forces. Trademark. As you attempt to discover what lurks beneath the earth in this retro FPS inspired by the 90s legends. Um, David did send us some keys, so we got to give him props for that. Thank you so much. You can see his lovely game and those awful rats that he created that I hate him for on the screen right now. So let's <laughs> let's get into it. Ven, how, how, how'd it work? On the brand new, freshly de Ubuntu ties beat into submission 1810. Ryzen 1700, 16 gigajoules of RAM, a 2060 from NVIDIA. No issues here, man. Uh, I know Pedro had some issues with 418 drivers, but Mm -hmm. uh, over here in RTX Master Race land, not a problem. Nothing to complain about. Uh, Out of the box, I'm running this at UHD 3840 by 2160. Uh, I limited the frames to 120, but... You can just go in YOLO on that. It was 300 and something as well. It should be. I mean, take a look at it. Uh, graphics, bunch of switches to fiddle with textures and different levels of retro, which eh, whatever. I didn't really play with that, but they all worked. And the control is your basic was. It's kind of like ice skating, but I'll tell you a bit more about that a bit later. Uh, yeah. Clean bill of health. No issue. All right, on, on Fedora 2864 bit with the i7 6700K GTX 1080 Ti. Um, yeah, I mean, after 15 years of Open Arena just kind of starting up and launching under uh, under Linux, this better damn well run. The DOS thing at the beginning was kind of cute for the first time, but then it's like, oh, you got to wait for this game to load off of your 5400 RPM spinning disk drive. It's like, no, I threw that on an SSD. I want my game to, you know, run as if it were on an SSD. Um, anyways, uh, performance wise, yeah, at uh, 20, uh, 3840 by 2160, I didn't fuck around with the frame limiter, but it was getting like consistently 145 frames a second, which it should be because this is Quake 3. If it ran any worse, I don't know. You, I, I'd be very, very at, mad at David. And uh, controls, yeah, it, plays like any first person shooter would uh, you know go play it play it with a controller i dare you four chairs yeah no it uh does launch over here on solus with the ryzen 1600 and the gtx 1080 but it had trouble staying launched uh with the uh 418 beta drivers so it it took me a while because I went through a number of things to try and figure out what exactly was crashing, and then I just downgraded the drivers to 4.15.27, and look, it stopped crashing. So I'm not entirely sure where the fault lies, but considering 4.18 is still a beta, I'm not going to get a chair for that. The Like Jordan already mentioned, yeah, there's a frame limiter, it defaults to 144, and even at UHD... You kind of want to keep it on because it's always hitting that 144. So, very good job there. The graphics, yeah, they... they, I mean, you're looking at them right now if you're watching the video version. It's um, very pixely. They even have, like, a multitude of uh, color palettes, if that suits your fancy. Yes, yes, you can. Much worse. Uh, Controls. So, in my testing to figure out what exactly was making the game crash, I uh, did the thing. It's like, right-click, play this via Proton, and turns out that Unity on Linux is jacking up the mouse sensitivity significantly, because in Proton, setting the mouse sensitivity to 0.25 is the same as setting the mouse sensitivity to Are you complaining about Unity giving you something extra? Uh, yeah, Plus the, extra. an extra mouse sensitivity, which is not point not five in Linux, is equivalent to not two five uh, on uh, on Windows. So, yeah, that's uh, that's a bit much. And I thought this had been fixed. It's Unity 
this has been an issue for a while, but yeah, clean bill of health otherwise, so four chests for me. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. It runs fine. As a quick game should under Linux, except for the latest one, which does not run under <laughs> Linux. Because we, we're um, all very but, familiar with quick games built with Unity. Yes. Um, <laughs> ziggurat. Um, <laughs> another another <laughs> fine, v- v- fine v- addition v- to v- the fun? quick genre. Strafe. <laughs> Strafe. That would be a thing. Hey, let's talk about if I had a good time with it, because that's what you're really here for. One thing this game has going for it is it fucking quits, man. I love it. You hit quit, enter, desktop. None of that. Are you Are you sure? Are, are you really sure? I mean, dude, come on. Let, let's go to two more fucking menus before I close the game. <laughs> nope. I mean, I was I was surprised. I was shocked, but I was also very happy. I I like that game. Good on you. What is this? Uh. Basically, here's my takeaway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If somebody explained Quake 1, like via interpretive dance to someone who never played Quake, and then that person made a game from their newfound knowledge, you'd get dusk. That's that's basically what I was feeling here. If you've ever played the game of Telephone, where you start with that original idea and work your way down the line until you still get an idea concept, but it's kind of all fucked up and mashed together kind of feel like i'm playing the business end of that game you got quake graphics like quake one graphics old school duke nukem 3d level design and turok ice skating movement i bitched about that way back when you don't really feel attached to the floor it's kind of like i'm floating around man i got hover boots and it's a thing new bullet interactive got about i want to say roughly like 10 percent of what made a classic fps good mainly the speed also, mainly the music. I want to give it a nod there. When that music kicks in, you're like, I can dig this. I'm feeling this. It's like you had the Quake CD or Quake 2 CD in the fucking drive while you were playing the game back in the day. I was kind of hoping to get a little bit of the multiplayer in, but, you know, it's, we're dead. That's what the multiplayer scene for this is. So if you got friends, maybe invite them over and you could do that. Uh, I want to say, David, man, you did the best with what you had at... Seems to have some good reviews on Steam. Hey, man, I'm happy to see that for you. However, as someone old enough to have grown up playing this nonsense, this is a tinker toy, man. It's a pale imitation, and we kind of both know that. Uh, But really, the only crime here I thought that has been committed, if you could even say it a crime, is putting the done label on it. Doesn't really feel done, does it? No, not quite. However, if you want old school done right uh, with all the blood and the gore, I'm going to have to say pick up like Apocryph. And it's like $5 less. And I think it's a lot better game. So yeah, one on that. A $20 price tag burns. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an okay shooter. It really, it really is. It's, it's, it's an okay shooter that uses all the visual language and sound cues of retro shooters to invoke some nostalgia. But, I mean, it's, it's just okay. It's nothing stellar, but it's, it's all right. Um, and I think therein lies the problem with this game. Like, we have so many, especially in analytics, we have so many of this style of game. Like, give, give us something a little new. Give us an interesting riff on this idea. Um, instead of attempting to rest on the laurels of games that sort of came before this, uh, and not really innovating. The statement this game makes is, "Hey, remember, remember the fun you had playing Quake? Or, well, here, here's something similar. You can you can go back and play Quake, or download a bunch of like old custom levels for Quake. But you know, you're charge twenty bucks for it. Um, and like, that's not to say that this game is laser and anything. Like, the sound design is very well done, uh, top notch, and the soundtrack is, itself is like some okay heavy metal noodling. Um, the 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 game the gameplay is fluid. It reminds me a lot of me playing Quake Three Arena with my friends in high school, uh, in one of the lunch rooms that we cordoned off for video games. Um, and yeah, I mean, I mean, a lot a lot of the reviews I've seen for this game praise it for like, oh, it's 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 retro. It's it it it's a it's no frill shooter. Yeah, and you can strip away a lot of the bullshit that modern shooters have and still have a fun experience. That's why you know people still play Quake to this day. Um. But it doesn't do anything new, and I think that's the biggest downfall of this game. Is it's 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 a good facsimile, but a facsimile nonetheless. So fuck those rats. Those rats are the worst. I hate them so much. <laughs> um, it's 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 an it's an okay game. You're not gonna hate yourself playing it, and if you like the style shooter, 
gonna have some fun with it but yeah the, the price tag is a little steep all things considered i'll give it two chairs it's fine yeah playing through dusk filled me with meh it's a perfectly competent retro inspired first person shooter like which there are a ton of on steam uh hell i hope for something like strafe because i really enjoyed strafe but you know something that was a bit more quakey Something that uh, would actually follow the structured um, story, I guess, if you want to call it that. Just like have actual uh, handcrafted levels and tell a story with that. Um, it didn't really get that. Yeah, some of the levels are interesting and they go all serious Sammy with the physics. Uh, but those are very few and they seem mostly confined to like the end of the game when you're already so massively, um, you know, in the zone where the controls just make sense and you don't really have to think about anything and you could just take anything without taking any damage whatsoever. But it you can tell that the end is coming because things are starting to get interesting and that's the point where I stop playing. It's like, oh, so I'm already in episode three and there's uh the levels are just getting interesting okay so that's the end boss i guess i'll just finish it tomorrow then uh it, yeah there's 30 uh 30 levels 33 if you find the three secret ones i think there's one per um chapter and it won't take you very long to get through it when it comes down to it there's just nothing here that's going to keep me interested because we've seen this done before we've seen this done differently and far more interestingly it's not bad it's just not very good i guess not even the multiplayer as ven already mentioned is dead so it gets two chairs from me but hey fuck rats fuck rats, fuck rats yeah. <laughs> if i see a master splinter walking down the street and fucking go out you, you gotta imagine like one thing they could do is like make ultra nightmare mode there's just fucking rats everywhere constantly oh dude that would that would be the worst like just all the boss or bosses are just rats just rats <laughs> bad rats we call it rats the game the sequel to cats um so i mean th there there you go it's a well executed competently done shooter that Rests on the laurels of games that came before it. Um, yes. Got anything else we got to say? Fuck rats. Fuck rats. Yeah, fuck All right.